Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm going to start reading Fables from Squids Will Be Squids by John Shishka and Lane Smith. Okay, so I have some tabs picked out, but before I go ahead and pick those, find those tabs, I'm going to read you the preface or the forward. It's a serious historical forward. Fables have been around for thousands of years. And it's no wonder, because even thousands of years ago, people were bright enough to figure out that you could gossip about anybody, as long as you changed their name to something like lion or mouse or donkey first. Aesop is the guy most famous for telling fables, though he wasn't the first or the best looking. Most descriptions we have of Aesop call him funny shaped or ugly or worse, but you didn't hear that from me. I think Aesop was one heck of a swell guy. This book, Squids Will Be Squids, is a collection of fables that Aesop might have told if he were alive today and sitting in the back of a class daydreaming and goofing around instead of paying attention and correcting his homework like he was supposed to because his dog ate it and he didn't have time to run out and buy a new paper and do it over again before his bus came to pick him up in the morning. These are beastly fables with fresh morals about all kinds of bossy, sneaky, funny, annoying, dim bulb people, but nobody I know personally, really. Moral, sometimes the names are changed to protect the not so innocent. Alrighty, let's get started. I picked one out for us called Dear Mouse, Rabbit, and Squid. Dear Mouse, Rabbit, and Squid sat on the steps trying to decide what to do. Let's go see a movie, said Deer. Great, said Mouse. Great, said Rabbit. There's nothing good on, said Squid. Let's play frisbee in the park, said Mouse. Great, said Rabbit. Great, said Deer. My tentacles are too tired, said Squid. Let's go shopping, said Rabbit. Great, said Deer. Great, said Mouse. That's so boring, said Squid. I'm just gonna go home. And she oozed off down the street. Deer, Mouse, and Rabbit looked at each other. Great, they said. Then they ran off to see a movie, play frisbee in the park, and go shopping. Moral of the story, squids will be squids. Here's another one I picked out for us. It's called straw and matches. Here we go. It was the end of summer vacation. Straw had done everything he could think of. He was bored. So he went over to play with someone he had been warned to stay away from. Let's play checker, said Straw. Okay, I'm the red ones. I get to move first. I get two moves and you get one, said Matches. Forget it, said Straw. Let's play ping pong instead. Okay, I get the good paddle. You stand on that side. I get to serve first and you have to close one eye, said Matches. Never mind, said Straw. Maybe we should just watch TV. Okay, you sit over there on the floor. I'll sit on the couch. I get the remote and we have to watch my favorite video, said Matches. I think I hear my mom calling, said Straw. I'd better go. Moral of the story, don't play with Matches. Wonderful. Let's see what else I picked out for us today. Ah, yes, it's a good one. It's called P 
piece of toast, and Fruit Loops. I'm going to switch over this way so you can see the picture a little bit better. Here we go. Can everybody see Piece of Toast and Fruit Loops? Awesome. Piece of Toast and Fruit Loops sat on the breakfast table, arguing over who was loved the most. Of course, everyone loves toast the most, said Piece of Toast. I'm half of eggs and toast, and all the toast in French toast. I'm the toast with the most. Who could not love me? We'll soon find out, said Fruit Loops, because I'm a good source of 11 essential vitamins and minerals containing 20% of the minimum daily requirement of vitamin C, iron, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folate, vitamin B12, and zinc. Based on a 2,000 calorie per day diet and a cup serving size, not including the milk. I also have one gram of dietary fiber per serving and 12 grams of sugar, yellow dye number six, blue number one, and number two, and red number 40. BHT has been added to preserve freshness, but while Fruit Loops was rattling off his nutrition facts, mom had a cup of tea, dad drank coffee, son ate donut, and daughter, said she'd get a bagel on the way to school. Toast got cold and stiff, and Fruit Loops got very soggy. Moral of the story, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It's true, it sure is. I had oatmeal for breakfast. What did you have? Okay, here is another one I thought was really funny. It's called, well, let me see if you can guess what the title is. If you said hand, tongue, and foot, you'd be 100% correct. Hand, foot, and tongue. One evening at dinner, Hand, foot, and tongue got into a heated argument over who had the toughest job. I have the toughest job, said Hand. Every day I work from sunup to sundown. I button shirts, I tie shoes, I hold a spoon and fork to feed all of us. I have to be strong enough to punch with a fist and gentle enough to pat a baby. I definitely have the toughest job. No, you don't, said Foot. I have the toughest job. Every day, I have to carry all of you, and I'm not complaining or anything, but I usually have to do it in the dark, stuck in a smelly sock and laced in a shoe. I have the toughest job. Then, Tongue spoke, spoke up. I am a fleshy, muscular organ attached to the floor of the mouth. I help in both speech and taste. I start the process of digestion by moving food into position to get ripped and mashed and crushed and smashed to little bits by the teeth. Then I cover the little food bits with saliva and shape them into slimy blobs of guck that I push down the throat and that's sick, said hand. Disgusting, said foot. Moral of the story. Some things we don't talk about at the dinner table. Good. And let's see, this one is our final one. And it kind of looks like a tree log, but it is a beef snack stick. That's right, take another look. All right, this is the last one. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll go ahead and dive in and uh, hopefully I catch you next time. Okay, it says duck billed platypus versus beef snack stick. What a mouthful. I have a bill like a duck and a tail like a beaver, bragged duck billed platypus. So what, said beef snack stick? I have beef 
soy protein concentrate, and dextrose. I also have webbed feet and fur, said duck-billed platypus. Who cares, said beef snack stick. I also have smoke flavoring, sodium erythorbate, and sodium nitrite. I am one of only two mammals in the world that lay eggs, said duck-billed platypus. <laughs> Big deal, said beef snack stick. I have beef lips. Moral of the story, just because you have a lot of stuff, don't think you're so special, Mr. Beef Snack Stick. Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much. Have a great night. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.